Okay guys, we're looking at this beautiful Cutlass. It's a tribute car and it's sitting right at the front door when I came in of the uh, actual warehouse. So this thing's a 442 and we're gonna get in on it right now. And this car I saved for last, but this thing is beautiful. Let's take a look at this beautiful Cutlass. Be right back. Okay guys, this is a 72 Oldsmobile Cutlass. 442 W30 Tribute. This thing is a new arrival here at Creek, Illinois, and this thing here is ready to be sold. It's a beautiful red with black trim. Has some chrome on it, chrome front end. Let's take another look at the front end real quick. This thing is clean, man. The iconic Oldsmobile symbol sitting right there in the middle of it. You know, sitting right there. With, and I mean, this thing is clean, man. This is a beautiful car. I love this front end. I remember seeing them when I was a kid. I never saw these on the front, those front hood latches, but I guess on a 442 model, you probably had them, you know, with the Ram air intake right here, going in the front on both sides. So I have, this thing actually has a stroker motor on it, in it, I should say, you know, if I didn't mention that before. And then you got those torque rims down there for this thing. This thing is beautiful with this red and black and, uh, trim. You can't really build, uh, beat that. And as we walk around the back, you see the spoiler on it, that big old spoiler. I do remember seeing the cutlasses with those side spoilers on the back. As you look at the back end, this whole back end is beautiful. There's all this chrome. I don't know if this is the original style bumper, but this thing here looks good on here. Looks really good. And you see the exhaust tips, the exhaust tips on both sides. So you can't really beat this look. I mean, it looks all original. It's beautiful, man. For, and this is a beautiful restoration. Now, I don't know how much of it's been restored, but some of it may be still original and the rest may be restoration, but this turned out to be a real nice car. Let's look in through the passenger window. As you can see, the leather seats, leather bucket seats are beautiful, you know. Looking in at the back seat, plenty of room. You got leg room back there. How about that? As you're looking at back through the front dash, dashboard looks really nice and clean. And it's automatic, it's not a stick. But if it was a stick, I know it'd be that much better, you know. This thing is nice. Let's look at the driver's side. Okay guys, as we look at the driver's side of the car, as the fuselage, as we go down it, this thing is beautiful. As you can see the W30 sign down there, 442 W30. This thing really, it stands out. It'll stand out in the crowd, especially with the paint job and everything. This thing here is beautiful and you just don't see many of these things out. Cutlasses like this is rare. You'll find them at car shows, but you don't see them driving down the street unless you live in an area where a lot of people still have some survivors and they don't mind driving them. That would be California, Texas, or Arizona, something like that. Not here in the Midwest, especially in the North. You know, here in Illinois, Indiana. You only get to see these cars during the summertime when the weather is just right. Because we have seasons here. But man, if you got a car like this and you took good care of it through the years and you didn't allow rust to get, uh, salt to get on there to cause rust and you didn't drive it during the winter time, you had yourself a nice car, man. And especially you took good, good care of it with a lot of wax and a lot of tender loving care. You could not beat that to keep these cars in order. And this thing here is really nice. As we look at the dash a little bit more, on the driver's side, it's really nice. And this thing actually has, hey, there you go, a buck 20 on the speedometer. You know, so, and you see the air conditioning, you see the radio, that's aftermarket, but it's more of a simple look with this car, but this thing is packing some power, you know? Let's look at the information board. As you see, it is a 72 Cutlass 442 W30 Tribute W30. With a 383 Stroker B8, excuse me, red on black, 13,000 act undocumented miles, and you all see the price for this car. 
I think is a nice find for a W30 Cutlass that you won't see much of. And compared to the price of this and that Trans Am I just did, they were both around the same price. You, What would you choose? Me, myself, I'd take an old Cutlass. You know, because the price, as it gets older, the price just gets better. All right? Hey, 72 Cutlass, guys. 442. Real nice find here at Gateway Country, Gateway Classic Cars here in Crete, Illinois. Give them a call. Ooh.